All praises unto our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wawr Kakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also. The water too, Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. Okay? Us who are in this truth, man, we ain't like everybody else. See, we are surrounded by a bunch of morons, a bunch of idiots. People who think they know something and they don't know a damn thing, man. See, here it is with so much going on in the world. People are still blinded to the fact Yahweh Shai is about to return. People are still blinded to the fact that the things that we are saying have been, rent, have been written from ancient times ago. <laughs> I'll say it like that. Okay. If you are in the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, your mentality should be trying to hasten the day, looking forward to getting out of this captivity that we are in. Only an idiot will tell you we are not slaves. That's in your mind. We have to move forward. We have to be progressive. Only an idiot will tell you that we all have an equal playing field. As if how society standards are weighed and measured, it's not a system that's rigged. We're looking to get the freak, <laughs> I'll say it like that. Well, we're looking to get up out of here, okay? That's the spirit I'm in, and that's the spirit I know you brothers is in as well. Let's touch on Psalms chapter 59. In verse 2, deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. If you are in the spirit, you want to be delivered. You want to be free from those who are oppressing us. You want to be free from the so-called white man and his system, his pit, being in this hell that we are in temporarily we have the mentality of wanting to see it fall we want our own kingdom okay we want things to be ruled in righteousness we want to see our lord and savior Yahweh Shai being praised all throughout the earth as his name should be because see right now you have a lot of people who have their opinions Okay, they have a lot of disrespectful things to say about, you know, whatever it may be concerning this truth. But they look at us as the bad guy not seeing the atrocities that the so-called white man did as a problem. And that he still does currently. Okay, the fact that he's poisoning our food, he's poisoning our water, he's poisoning our air, he's poisoning everything that we need to sustain our life. If that doesn't show you that they are bloody men, that they can't be trusted, that they are the workers of iniquity, I don't know what to tell you. But us who are in the spirit, we want to be taken out of this captivity. We want to be stripped out of the hands of our oppressors. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity and save me from bloody men. Let's go into that word bloody. In Hebrews 18 and 18, the word is dom. Just like with the street gang Damu, which is Swahili for blood, which is a, a word that comes from the Hebrew. Okay? Dam, blood. From, 18, from Hebrews 18.26, blood as that which, when shed, causes death. A man or an animal, by analogy, the juice of the grape, figuratively. Especially in the plural, bloodshed, that is, drops of blood, blood. 
guiltiness, thirsty, plus innocent, it says at the end. Now Esau is a murderous man. He's the red man. He is the bloody man. He is the man of sin. He is the, the wicked that have been revealed here in these last days. Okay, we want to be delivered from these people. They are unreasonable people. No matter how nice they come off, do not trust these devils. And you have to, you know, judge the spirit because not all Edomites look like so-called white people. Okay? Just like Israel has been dispersed, Edomites have been dispersed, all nations under the sun have been dispersed one way or another. All right? But our concern are the Israelites. Let's go forward. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 16. But now they desire a better country that is a heavenly. Wherefore the power is not ashamed to be called their power. For he hath prepared for them a city. So we're looking forward. We desire a better city. We want our own kingdom. We want to be set free from these bloody ass Edomites, from these red devils, man. All right. You get tired of looking at them in the face and not being able to throw chains around their neck and drag their ass into captivity, man, where they belong. And then after a thousand years, destroy them. OK, you devils, you have a lot to pay for. When I say a lot to pay for. You can't pay for it. You can't afford the debt that you're in. Ultimately, after your slavery, you're going to be destroyed. Thus says Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But now, they, being us in this ministry, okay, we're not like you Israelites in the world. We're not like you blind ass Israelites who are trying to be buddy buddy with these damn red devils. But now they desire a better country that is a heavenly wherefore the power is not ashamed to be called their power for he has prepared for them a city. So we desire better. Now, while we desire better, you have some two third knucklehead Israelite trying to make it in this society, this society where you can't win. There's always going to be somebody doing better than you, which keeps you know, the people in this rat race constantly trying to get to that next level of achievement and then the next level and then the next level. It never ends, man. OK, you have women trying to be the, 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 the baddest bitch, so to speak. Yeah, you're bad. All right. You're wicked. You're full of iniquity. There are way too many beautiful women in the world to be trying to, you know, focus on vanity. We live in a world where adultery is upheld. People justify it. People justify idol worship. People justify bringing down masculinity, starting with the so-called black man. Okay? People justify homosexuality. This is the world we live in, where people call evil good and good evil. But we, being in this ministry, we're looking forward to something better than this. We understand that this is our captivity. And the ways of this world are against the Lord. Okay? And the Lord has something prepared for us far greater than this current situation we're in. A man in his right mind would want to be delivered from Esau Edom. All right? Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 12. Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. So our people trust in oppression. Our people put their trust in Esau, Edom. Okay? Esau, Edom is our primary enemy and you have our people trying to be buddy buddy with these devils, trying to join hand in hand with these devils, putting their trust in these devils. 
Man, to hell with Esau. I hate Edomites, man. Okay, and if the Lord gave me that power right now, I'd I, I do my thing. That's all I'm going to say. All right, I'm, I'm going to be smart about it, you know, because we are in the time of the heathen. We can't even fully express things the way that we want to because you'll just demonize us, which the demonization will come either way. And we're ready for it. All right, us in, the, in this truth, we're ready for it. Bring it on. It's about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word. Yeah, our people despise this word. That's why we offend them based off the words that we say. And we're speaking the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and that offends our people. Oh, well. Okay? Because ye despise this word and trust in oppression. You, 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 you trust in Esau. You trust in the ways of Esau. You trust in ways that keep us captivated. Going against the Lord is oppression. Because going against the Lord is how we fail. You want things to go well with you. You have to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And trust in oppression and perverseness. And stay thereon. Therefore... This iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. Okay, and just like the way you trust in Esau, the way you lean on Esau, okay, out of nowhere, suddenly Esau is going to be used against you. Out of nowhere, because of your 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 trust in wickedness, your trust in the devil, your trust in your wicked ways. When your calamity comes, it will come suddenly. Okay? Imagine you chilling in your, your, your front room and your ceiling just out of nowhere caves in on you. And the, the, the bed that was above you crushes you. Okay? Suddenly, out of nowhere. But well, that's how it's going to be putting your faith in oppression. Putting your faith in oppression, your calamity will come upon you suddenly at an instant because your iniquity will fall upon you and Esau is the man of iniquity okay so this iniquity being Esau and your wicked ways shall be to you as a breach ready to fall all right let's go into that word breach in Hebrews 65 56 parrots pay parrots it almost sounds like parrots. Breach, gap, bursting forth. Bursting forth, outburst. Breach, broken wall, outburst. Figuratively of God's wrath. A break, literally, liter literally or figuratively. Breach, breaking forth, gap. Okay? Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. So, if, if something was to collapse upon you, it caves in, now it's a gap. Okay? Swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. So, imagine you even, let's say you're tired, and you lean upon this wall, and you've been chilling on this wall for a second. Out of nowhere, the wall just falls and collapses on you. The, the, the same wall that you put faith in. Okay, or that same ceiling that you thought was covering you was the same ceiling that collapsed and, and crushed you. Well, putting your faith in these devils, eventually, it's going to turn against you. Out of nowhere, suddenly, you're going to find out that wasn't the smart thing to do. Trusting, trusting in your own ways was not the right thing to do. Okay, our people despise this word and they trust in the ways of Esau. Not considering, not pondering on the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because if you did, you would know this in Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So you have to depart from the ways of this world. You have to depart from the ways of Esau. Okay? Esau wants to turn the Israelite man into a bunch of flaming sodomites okay and you will be a flaming sodomite 
you will be burnt up if that be your lot okay if you partake with this world by agreeing with it seeing that this place is not your rest you will be destroyed right along with it this place was set up to be destroyed and you you know being a partaker of it will also be destroyed because this place is set up through iniquity and wickedness arise ye and depart for this is not your rest so we're not here to thrive and prosper we're not here to see how great of a basketball player or a rapper we can be or how many millions we can stack up or how many um, women we can have lined up we are here for our punishment we are here because of our iniquities we want to be delivered from this captivity and those who are oppressing us we have a desire in a better world and it's just messed up that we have to deal with two-thirds of our people who trust in oppression okay arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction and this world is polluted with iniquity this world is polluted with abominations just sin after sin after sin after sin being a friend of this world makes you an enemy of the Lord okay and seeing how this is not our rest you'd be a damn idiot to want to be at rest in your enemy's world and here it is in our enemy's world they're destroying everything including the Israelites in it and they're also destroying their own people but their their main target is who Israel because they're bloody men and people are actually you know depressed they have mental disorder mental disorders because of how Esau has set up this society Esau will give you pills and medication to try to fix the situation but not committing adultery that can keep you from being mentally messed up okay not um, following after the ways of your oppressor that can keep you from being mentally messed up okay calling on the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son can keep you from being mentally messed up here it is our people suffer from all different things you know all sort of mental disorders and Esau will give you prescription medication not knowing the true medication comes from serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai being our physician Yahweh works through Yahweh Shai as our physician we get our true healing from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai this place is polluted this word has cleaned us up and we're hoping to not have to be partakers when the destruction comes because this place will get you killed all right let's touch on Psalms I think it is this is Psalms chapter 29 and verse 2 It might be Proverbs, this isn't it. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, speaking of the Israelites, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. So most people are in mourning. And guess what? You Israelites, you're at mourning because this isn't your rest. Now you think chasing the bag is the way to happiness and freedom. You think being able to take a vacation is the way to happiness and freedom. But then you still find yourself messed up in the mind. You still find yourself mentally disturbed. Because the true um, 
killing comes from pleasing the Lord, not from the amount of things that you have or you can accumulate. A lot of people are dying early because Esau's ruling. Esau's poisoning everybody, including his own people. Okay? Because Esau's trying to kill us, man. Let's go down to verse 10. Proverbs 29 and verse 10. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. So Esau is seeking to kill us. But you know what? We're seeking to have you in slavery and destroy you as well. You hate us, we hate you. Y'all are bloodthirsty. We know about you elites. We know about the rituals y'all perform. We know about how your people operate. We know about your hatred towards us because we're the upright. Okay, we're the Israelites. But we, we're seeking you out too. And ultimately, the Lord is seeking you out and the Lord is going to destroy you. Okay? Here it is. You're killing the earth. People are mourning because of your bullshit. But you don't understand that, you know, at the end of the day, you're coming to your end. Let's touch on Revelations 12 and 12. Really, you do understand that you're coming to your end. Excuse me. You understand that you're coming to your end. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, the bloodthirsty devil that he is, okay? For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So Esau is causing people to be in a state of mourning. And seeing how they're bloodthirsty and how they hate the just, they hate us even more so right now knowing that their time is short. They know their time is short. They're seeing way too many uh, aerial phenomena, too many so-called UFOs, which we know who they are. We know what they are and who they are. Okay? Esau is angry. Esau is showing his wrath by GMO foods, by chemtrails in the sky, by trying to hit you with a, a, a vaccine that could leave um, remnants of mercury in your brain, okay? Turn your son into a sodomite, turn your daughter into a harlot. The devil is destroying even the sea. Sea life's being affected, here it is. The ocean is just an abundant amount of water. And Esau is even destroying that. The coral reef is bleached. Animals are dying because their bodies are being uh, uh, full of plastic. Okay? Like the whole earth is being affected because of these devils. And because his time is short, he don't care. He's trying to take everybody down with him. But because of what Esau's doing, he doesn't understand the Lord is going to destroy them. Okay, Revelations chapter 11 and verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. So Esau is destroying the earth. And seeing that Esau is destroying the earth, he's going to be destroyed. So after they serve their punishment of going into slavery for a thousand years, they are going to be destroyed because they have been the destroyers of the whole earth. People, beast, sea life, plant life, Okay, Obadiah 1 and 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. The Lord has spoken it. The Lord is going to destroy them who are destroying the earth. 
and the earth was not made for you Esau see right now the earth has been given to you to a degree but you haven't been given full access to the earth there are many parts of the earth matter of fact there are more parts of the earth that haven't been discovered than parts that have been discovered and all this while being under your rulership you're trying to you know go to the outer atmosphere going to outer space all of these things are for the Israelites you have your time to shine but when it comes to having full access kind of like in a video game okay you might have certain parts of the game where you just can't go there you can't the game will not let you it's locked off your eyes can see it but there's like an invincible wall that's keeping you from actually getting there right well here in Esau's world there's a lot of walls there's a lot of barriers that Esau cannot pass he wants to see more of the more of the ocean but he can't he wants to see what's in outer space in terms of all all of what it has to offer but he can't if Esau had access to outer space, okay? Matter of fact, if we were in the kingdom and Esau was to try to rule with us, Esau would try to have it to where he'd set curfews on when you can go to this planet. You can't go over here to this side. We're going to block it off. And we're going to try to find out ways to suck out resources from it and use it for this. Hell no, man. Esau, you are only given a portion of this world. You have your, your, your blessing, but your blessing is coming to an end. And at the end of your blessing, you're going into slavery. And at the end of your slavery, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? The, 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 the spirit of an Edomite, well, let's put it this way. There will come a time after a thousand years of your captivity that we will not see any Edomites on the face of the earth okay now whatever the Lord does with your spirit is another thing because you can't destroy a spirit matter of fact when you go to um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12 and verse 1 for thine incorruptible spirit is in all things so the Lord's incorruptible spirit is in all things, and that includes these Edomites. Okay? So you can't destroy an Edomite spirit, so to speak, because a spirit is pure energy. You can't destroy energy. All of us are, um, are created from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Everything is created from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. When it comes to mankind, you know, when it comes to beast life, you know, the, the, the sea life or whatever the case may be, all things that have a spirit, that spirit was given to them from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that spirit cannot be destroyed because that spirit is pure energy. Okay? So after Esau serves his captivity and they go into captivity or after they serve their captivity and then after their captivity they're to be um, devoured and the house of Esau not be remaining anymore we understand that the, the, the spirit itself will not be destroyed so who knows what the Lord will decide to do with the spirit of an Edomite he might just um, disperse those spirits amongst the heathen okay but either way it goes after that thousand years Esau will be destroyed that's the point you know, the one who's been destroying the earth is going to be destroyed. Because guess what? The earth was made for our sake and it wasn't set up for you to destroy it. And that's why, well, there's many reasons why, but that's that's another reason why you're going to be brought down. Because you're you're baking you're breaking protocol, but you're you're set up to do so. Isaiah 45 and 18, I'm gonna close it here. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, the power himself that formed the earth and made it, he hath established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord. There is none else. So Esau is destroying the earth. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai created the earth to be inhabited. 
So that means you devils who are in power, who are causing people to be in mourning. You know, people are suffering all sorts of just different illnesses, mental illnesses. And you're not giving them the real cure, which is to follow the ways of the Lord. Okay? You've done too much damage to turn back now. So the Lord is going to remove you devils and he's going to give the kingdom unto his people. The kingdom of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is going to be uh, generous enough to share it with his people. Okay, he's going to be uh, the head macho under Yahweh. And under him, you're going to have the Israelites, starting with the elect men of Israel, ruling. And we are going to have you heathens under our subjection. Okay, we are going to rule in righteousness. And the earth was made to be created or the, the earth was created and made for our sake. It was made for the Israelites. And we're coming into our time of dominance. We're coming into our time of being rulers, man. And you devils are out of here. Okay, so the Lord is going to remove you and put its rightful owners where we're supposed to be. So I'm going to go ahead and close it there and give all thanks and praises unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wa Rakakwadash. Lord willing, this was simple and it was edifying. Shalom.